In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with FinalBot Hold'em in under three minutes. FinalBot's a community for competitive software developers, and Hold'em is our version of Texas Hold'em Poker. To compete in FinalBot, you download an SDK and create a bot that is then run against the bots from other players in automated tournaments. To get started, you'll want to head out to FinalBot.com to register your account. Then you can download the SDK for the competition you want to compete in, and develop your bot using that SDK and the tools of your choice. Once you're happy with your bot's behavior, you can submit it for competition. Once submitted, it'll automatically compete with other bots in regular tournaments. And after those tournaments, you can analyze the game logs to improve your bot's behavior for future tournaments. So let's get started. I'm going to click over to the registration page where I could fill out all these forms. I happen to have an account, and I've linked that account in my Facebook uh, account, so I'm just going to use that. We'll skip the registration process for me, and we'll use my existing account so that I can show you very quickly how we can download the SDK and get started. So I'm going to click through, download the SDK, and save it to my desktop. Uh, once it's downloaded, I'm going to unzip the SDK, and I'm going to open it using a tool of my choice. Now it provides starter bots in five different programming languages, as well as a test client. I'm going to use C Sharp, which is my language of choice. Now when I double click the solution file, it's going to open it in Visual Studio. It might give you a warning, but that's okay. Inside this project, it includes one file. That file is my bot. Inside my bot, there is one method that I need to worry about. It's called getBet. And what this method basically cares about is how many chips my bot wants to bet given a certain scenario. It'll provide me the current table statistics, such as what players have bet what amounts and what my cards are, as well as community cards, and I can use my history member to determine what the past game history was in case I want to analyze past bets and cards from players throughout the history of this tournament. Now in this case, I'm going to leave my default number at zero, which means that my bot's going to either check or fold on every bet. Now what's cool about this is this is a valid bot and I can run with it. So I'm going to start debugging, and this will launch the test client. The test client will enable me to create a new matchup, and in that matchup, I can go ahead and I can select the bots that I want to use. The SDK provides a handful of practice bots, and I'm going to select my c -sharp bot, that's the one I've just created, as well as the conserva bot as the remaining bots. Now it's going to run those five bots against each other in an automated fashion, and then I can basically go through and look at all the different performance of these bots throughout the entire tournament. Now once I'm satisfied with my bot's behavior, I can go back to finalbot.com, click on my bots, and choose to edit and upload the bot that I've created. Now once I go ahead and I pick my bot, I can submit it to the system and it'll be run in automated tournaments. I can then go back, take a look at the performance of my bot in those tournaments, and then decide to refine my behavior. In this case, I'm taking a look at a past tournament, I click the download button, and then I can open that log directly in the test client and see the performance. Well, this has been building a final bot, holding bot in under three minutes, and I hope you get started soon.